Hey guys, welcome to Rope to Season 4, Episode 11 of Bones. Here we go. This is a bad idea. Uh, Going through the woods at night? There's a tall black walnut tree back here. Uh -huh. Probably. This is government property. The yeah, that's a bad idea. This tree is carnivorous. Carnivorous? What? It eats meat? No, not nuts. Oh, it's God, nuts. dude. Oh. Bunch of idiots. They're bones. That's our department. Called the school where he taught. Well, 15 years ago. And after 15 years, they still remember. You hired her dad? Your dad. I thought you'd be pleased. Well, you are incorrect. Hi, honey. Hey. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Aim. Fire. Now, why is the light visible? Because the jello molecules are close together. Yeah, but that's not magic. That's. That's the science way. Meet my daughter. The world famous anthropologist, Dr. Temperance Brennan. Of course, I told her everything she knows. Well, actually, come I on, you can't. College. You it's can't. Something about refraction. Smells off. You can't kick them out. Angle you can't. Really <laughs> to the so, are there any questions for our uh, scientists? Oh, maybe. I have to examine. I have plenty of questions. Out. Explain everything to me Dead in a dumb way. Skull? Maybe another time, kids. Hmm. Dead person's skull. Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? Most likely a wind deposited them there. That seems most likely. They're right in the middle of the mass booby migration path. Mass booby? The what? Kid. The Department of Fish and Wildlife does not kick. The mass what? You just have to give me a minute, okay? You can have your boobies all to yourself. Mass booby? It's sacrum. It's definitely human. It's charming. What the hell is that? Oh. That guy's high. Guy is in a sexually non-specific urban colloquialism, or in reference to the gender normally associated with penis, Mr. Bray. Any fires in the last couple of weeks? No. The body of the hyoid is fractured. This man was murdered. We'll need to search this entire area. This guy's back. Your boobies. <laughs> boobies. What a. I don't know what that is, and I can't look it up, so... <laughs> it's gotta be some kind of animal. I gotta go pick up my new employment ID. Ooh, guns of steel. You work here now? Actually, <laughs> you work here now? <laughs> this time you got the excellent core pattern. My father is a bank robber and an accused murderer. Well, he's killed more people than Max has, and he works here. Don't bring that up. Damn. Why you bring that up? Damn. Fact, why are you defending him? Why aren't you? He is your father. Well, whose sperm hit whose egg shouldn't determine who works here. Come on, <laughs> he's showing kids around the museum. What can it hurt? Not even 30 years old. Ooh. The fracture must have been the result of trauma. 20 something with a bad back. You gotta give me something. You got more to go. <laughs> Wait, it's me. 20 years, 20 something years right. old with a bad back. That's me. Y'all are looking at me. Bone marrow? Calvin and Warren. Force recon, Marine it's not Force me. Special Ops, tough so tough. Warren was honorably discharged three years ago. Marines tried to track him down, see if he wanted to re up, even checked his credit cards and bank accounts. He was totally off the grid. You guys can go back to your home play. <laughs> the wood fire burns at 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Human flesh needs 1400 till the night. Why do you know that? I got an uncle who's a funeral director. These weren't cremated. The bones would be drier and the flesh would be completely gone. Meaning that the burn was hotter than a wood fire and cooler than a crematorium. That's a thousand degree range. I, mean, I may be able to ID the accelerant. We could experiment. <laughs> Is that what you're after here? Oh my. You'll recall, I mostly disapproved of your experiments with Dr. Addy. You didn't disapprove the results? You have me there, Dr. Hodgins. I can't tell if we're doing an experiment or not. Not. See, I, He's not ready to do an experiment. I don't see what the problem is. Yet. But it's a crime lab. You're a convicted <coughs> felon. You're He's not convicted. I told the jury that I was a sociopath. Hey, <laughs> sit down, Bob. Likeable sociopath. What by? The bones in the tree murder victim, which is a crime we cannot discuss. My dad is a criminal. That would be valid. Thank you. If it were your real reason, but it's not. Oh, bam! Yes, it is. What do you say it is? Well, at the time you abandoned your daughter 15 years ago, you were a well-regarded science teacher. So consciously, she doesn't want to risk feeling that sense of abandonment and bereavement again. <laughs> Damn! Such a load of he cuts deep. You are far too rash. He cuts deep. 
Exactly. Cal Warren had a prescription for oxycodone written by a doctor, Antonia Ezrelo, office in Chevy Chase. Ooh. Did she provide an address? Very rarely writes prescriptions for pain medication. Ooh. So he probably stole her prescription pad. Voila. Here's his MySpace page, and I have to My say, space. he doesn't oh, look much like a drug dealer. This is the house across the street. Now, if I were a house member, I'd be right about here. Three, two, nine, four. So he's across the street from three, two, nine, four. But what street? That's impressive. Well, That's very Georgia, impressive. Square Bay You're really good at what you do. For an artist, you make a pretty good detective. I think you just insulted me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Only that? Mad skills, babe. The landlord said to Cal Warren worked crazy hours. That's impressive. He himself. Maybe he liked his privacy. What, so much that he pays his rent in cash? I don't know, Bones. Something is weird. It's not right. What is this? I don't know. This is something we're familiar with. Yep. Warren there you go. Lots of it. He was in some sketchy shit. I heard you tried to get Hodgins interested in doing an experiment. Let's just say I planted the seed. Huh. DuPont Circle. What? <laughs> Bastard. You don't necessarily fit in. Where's your sunglasses? How old is your child? Parker? I just said it. Has he been evaluated? That's just fine. You can only accept the most qualified applicants. Parker's right. a great kid. 68% of our students matriculate to Ivy League universities. It's not because of our electron, microscope, or AP classes. It's because of our honor code. Any violation results in immediate dismissal. Now, why don't I get you an admissions packet? Actually, I'm... Sounds like hell. I'm here to do a murder <laughs> investigation. One of our fathers actually implemented the security system. It's deputy director of the CIA. Really? Wow. He works for the president. Of the United States. What? Parents Association. As a nanny. A nanny? What? Public school is good enough for me, it's good enough for my kid. Of course it is. Probably. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> He'll do fine in a large classroom. I did. Except. Except what? Your dad was a science teacher in Rich Parker at home. In what academics are you qualified to offer enrichment? Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Do you know a Mr. Calvin Warren? He was my nanny. What he was your What's nanny. Your We're investigating. How does an ex, what, Marine? Cal was dropped Marine? off the face of the earth on Sunday. How is it that an ex special ops guy yeah. becomes a nanny? That's well, my so. My husband handles defense contracts, Middle East, South America. There were kidnap threats a couple years ago, and Richard was concerned. He offered Cal twenty five hundred a week. Oh, very good pay for so it's a babysitter. Nanny. Cal's more like a bodyguard. Yeah, it's funny. That's what got him killed. Someone after my children. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Of course. Oh, well, David. What the? Why? Because it's pertinent to our investigation. It shall not win the What? Mandarin Chinese. My father says the Chinese will run the planet in ten years. He figures it'll be useful. Today, okay. I run the world. Bun Ching Chang the Idwei Rock. He just called you a stupid red shit. Really? I know that kid. Lacrosse. I got this. Looks like the work of. Is class. that the kid from Lost? A dermatologist. Dr. Ezrela. The same doctor who said she didn't know Cal Warren. Mm -hmm. I'm having her brought in for questioning. You think those kids are better off than Parker? Yeah, of course they are. Mm -mm. They have every advantage. Wonderful school, a successful father, mother committed to charity work. I spend more time with my houseplants than they do with their kids. Parents are actually rather irrelevant beyond a certain age. You're kidding me. Look at this. They start Latin in third grade. 
Oh, that's that's... fantastic. Oh, oh, you know God. what's more important than academic enrichment? A loving environment. You ask anyone. Parker is a wonderful child, Booth. You shouldn't feel inadequate. You know, I'm perfectly capable of raising my own kid. You're being defensive. <laughs> Because you only have one child, and you procreate in multiples, there's less of pressure. <laughs> when you called and asked if I knew a Calvin Warren, I, I just didn't put it together with uh -huh. the king's nanny. Oh, so you did know? Yes, but just as Cal. My son is on the same lacrosse team as the king boy. Mm -hmm. Did you have any more dealings with him? I'm afraid not. Calvin came along with us one time when I took the uh, king children up for a ride. Okay, but then that means right. you know him I'm more. Glad. Uh, that's why he brought Royce King to me to be stitched up. To steal my prescription pad. She's sketchy. Any questions, you know? Thanks for coming in. I just feel stupid for not being able to put the face with the name. I'm so sorry. Yeah, for yeah. Time. Really, you sure? Suspect. Plus, I checked those emails to see if they've been opened. That's a very good system. Thank you. Because if you weren't checking, I probably never would have read the email that said Booth questioned a flying dermatologist. I ran the accelerant samples from the GC mass spec. There were traces of tetraethyl lead. Ooh! Have we changed subject? No, because if you hadn't been so anal about the emails, I never would have known that I discovered something that wasn't merely interesting, but vital to the investigation. Which is tetraethyl lead? Because tetra he was doused. Not added it in gasoline. Yeah. That went out with catalytic converters and unleaded gas. There you go. Flying dermatologist flies a plane. Mm-hmm. Aviation gas? Hopefully she hasn't flown the coop while you were getting to the point. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Flight logs mm -hmm. for the past year. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. looky there. This one here. Right here. Yes, I took car flying a few times. Mm -hmm. Without the kids? Yep. This particular flight to New York, you were gone the whole weekend. Ooh! No. My husband didn't know I was having an affair with the King's Manny. Would I have killed Cal to prevent him from finding out? No, I would not. Why? Because my husband doesn't give a damn who I buff. No stock. This, this is great. Keep <laughs> going. Cal told me to sell a stock. He said he had some insider knowledge that uh, this company was in trouble. I took the tip. That's hella illegal. That's when I flew to New York to say thank you. And he said, you're welcome. All weekend. <laughs> it was Richard King's company. Oh! Your old man, he reminded me why I got into science. To catch murders? No. To figure stuff out in amusing ways. The bones were incinerated by aviation fuel. They just need to know uh, how strong the He's totally was. not going to stay on this so job. He's going to leave because of her or something. Check the weather charts. I didn't touch him. Hmm? Like a plane. Strong nor'easter hit 71 miles per hour late last Tuesday. That is oh, the 40 oh no. hour oh. window for Calvin Warren's murder. A massive, but we okay. still don't know where Gus he was killed his body was dumped. Wait a minute, I figured that out. Dad, you fired. <laughs> what? The National Oceanic <laughs> and Atmospheric Administration. No attract surface conditions. <laughs> the heavy remains will still be near the original dump site. You see, I'm helping. You fired. Dr. Brennan, he didn't touch any of the evidence. Okay. Never mind. Damn. That's just annoying. <laughs> you be like studying algebra or Chinese or solving the world's problems? <laughs> I'm cheering for rice. Can't get much more American than that. I'm not a lacrosse fan, but neither is like 90 something percent of the country. <laughs> what now? Well, I'm just thinking about this whole insider trading thing. There's not I a lot of everything. lacrosse fans. I'm thinking. I was in San Antonio doing skin grass on a firefighter with third degree burns. You got your own plane. You had time to fly back. I didn't kill Cal. You know what? She lies a lot. I don't mm -hmm. think she can help it at all. This is my lawyer's part. She's decided not to cooperate. I've decided to watch my son play the cross. When that nor'easter blew the bones into that tree. Where did it blow it? Oh, no, that's that what we're trying to figure out from. Tree. <laughs> No, oh, that's what that's now, a given the duration wide of the open. terrain obstacles. Well, thank me. Thank Max Brennan. Tempe fired me. And don't tell me she hasn't got the authority because, believe me, I feel fired. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Are you sleeping with my daughter? <laughs> no. 
Why? Are you gay? <laughs> no. Is she not attractive to me? This is beautiful. Is it because of me? Because I killed one man and we both know he deserved it. Right, just cut it out, Max. All right, I'll talk to her. Probably ain't gonna get anywhere with her, but I'll talk to her. You're a good man. <laughs> Okay, according to the calculations, the bones must have started out from... We're all asking the same thing, Max. We're all so asking the same thing. Over here. What? Oh. Sternum? Okay, well, whoever did this is so really stupid because they didn't... The they just left everything there? The interior surface indicates that the murder weapon was a 12 gauge shotgun. <laughs> People are stupid. What if it was the kids? You know how insane that would be? You on a 12-gauge shotgun? Yeah, so... I would have tried to find her. Tried? Well, I don't think that Elspeth would have allowed it. Why? Was she having an affair with him? You two need to learn focus. Excuse me? Focus. Focus. Either accuse me of killing Cal because he betrayed business secrets, or because he had sex with my wife. And then once you've chosen, then contact my lawyers. So he sleeps with everybody's wife? Well? This is motive. I'm very happily married. Wait. He didn't have. He yeah, didn't. That guy's one cool customer. I just don't see him losing his temper or taking on some special hmm. forces back. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Do you think that doll comes from a I'm thinking. I'm a thinking. What? Follow me, boss. Wait for a second. What are you doing? That's not legal. I mean, that's okay. You need your name in the gas tank as an act of vandalism? Oh, are you kidding me, Bones? I would never do something like that. Beautiful cars. What are you doing? Italians make the best automobiles. And food. I didn't bring evidence, guys. Thanks, Bones. Appreciate it. You well, come prepared. Why, <laughs> why would I bring evidence? You always have evidence. You just left it open. Well, in my opinion, it isn't your father's presence that's causing you anxiety, it's the memory of his absence. I can understand quantum mechanics, but I can't understand you. Well, make it easy. But I'm staying with you. Well, oh, at my house. No, no, no. Wait, wait, is that an offer? No, would you... Would you want me to offer? No, no. What is going on? It wasn't an offer, it was just a question. He isn't saying he's literally staying with you. He's promising never to abandon you again. If it wasn't for that evidence thing, I'd... I thought you did your job. That's simply not true. <laughs> hey, it's all right. We're good. Uh, nothing I say has any impact. <laughs> You're not wrong. Did she leave any money? I was just remembering about a tape one. I'm gonna need more than that. <laughs> There's tape worm in the line, one that went to the beer keg. <laughs> There's, a bar line There's no flow from the tap line. First assumption, kink in the run, right? What else could it be? There was a tape worm in the line. I think he's my favorite line. intern. I mean, medical. or the most, the yeah, best the one that you know. I need Doctor Brian. The job. Doctor Sarin. Like, well, except for I the other guy. So your most valuable player. This is the profile of the gas we took off from this tie. Oh! His car runs on Avgas? He could have siphoned it out of his own car to burn Cal Warren's remains. And what is this anomaly? C6HA07. Citric acid? It's my considered belief that Agent Booth spilled orange juice on his body. <laughs> I look forward to seeing him explain that to a jury. Booth, it's Cam. I think you're gonna want to get yourself a warrant to arrest Richard King. Cal wasn't strangled post-mortem. He was dragged. Oh. Strangulation is the kink, dragging is the tapeworm. The pattern of marks is evenly spaced as if it would form a series <laughs> of connected prongs. Richard King's a big, strong guy. I don't see him dragging a dead uh -uh. body around on a joke. That's wife. It's because he didn't. Whoever dragged the victim is at most 5'5. Five five. Elizabeth King. Wow. Why? Because she calls the shots and he. So, are you sure you don't want your attorney present, Mrs. King? Let's just get this over with. You know, okay. Like, Sounds good. Betrayed to the company or something? Here's uh, I've seen her before. I'm sure you got really. Now I know where I saw her, too. It's all going away. The only show that's ever been canceled on my channel. You don't understand. <laughs> it wasn't about the money. 
because it was so terrible. <laughs> I had to protect my family. In my professional opinion, she didn't whack him. What? Come on. What? Cal betrayed them. Come on, sweet, sweet. She went straight to a tacit confession. Right. Which means she did it. She wants you to believe that she did. Why would she want to do that? She's covering. she's covering for someone. The only honest thing that she said was that she had to protect her family. So we're back to square one. Sort of. Is it the kids? I didn't think they were that tall. I mean, you're a smart guy. You went to private school, right? Yeah, perfect attendance through sixth grade, might I add. That's great. You don't think that I'm a lousy dad for not sending my son to private school? Right? No, you're not. Stop with this shit. You'd be a lousy father if you didn't torture yourself about it. You're doing fine. Whoever shot Cal was significantly shorter than Mrs. King. I don't think she did. Right. I said this in the episode, what if, what if it was the kids? <laughs> Checked your text messages and uh, one She has a phone? That's a little weird. This one is from the night the cow was killed. Bring it over now, parents both gone. Stop this, Richard. No. I want to hear it. It turns out that uh, Alexa here had a project deal in ancient Greece. Hmm. The man he will do it. He can't say no, he works for me. But Cal really did say no, didn't he? Because you paid a hundred bucks to somebody else to do it for you. Someone by the name of Dakota Shirkov. Oh my God. Yeah, I think it's a stupid name too. He threatened to tell the school. Why would he have oh. just told us? Cal said he wouldn't do anything. He said I had to learn a lesson. Ooh. Not a lesson. He would have kicked me out of school. My friends are at that school. I got the gun out of the garage and I shot it. I drove the body to the country house, took it into the woods, and burned it. Terribly. You did it terribly. For someone who She's is so successful, that was so stupid. It's counterproductive to raise children in a world without consequences. Mm -hmm. it looks like little Alexa here is going to have to come face to face with some pretty nasty consequences. But not the kind of consequences you're going to have to face. Oh boy. That's crazy. Hey, Parker, this is called a candy mint soda experiment. You can do this for your dad at home. My pain, she ruined that little girl's life. I can't believe that. the little girl? Removed from the family, institutionalized for a couple of years. Then it's back to ponies and tennis lessons. Mm -hmm. And probably well, Caroline more murder. Caroline charge her as an adult. <laughs> what? She's 11 years old. Once. <laughs> well, she's old enough to speak Chinese. Oh, they don't take that into account. They, uh, they handle that. Little girl killed Cal Warren. She killed the best father she had. Well, sometimes it's hard to appreciate what you've got. You shouldn't be charged as an adult until you're almost an adult. Okay, yeah. when, like, Parker's Tim's never liked science before. I'm thinking there's something to be said from middle class. I can't overlook the sanctity of the forensic class. Yeah. Maybe you can overlook it for me. For you. Yeah. Personal favor. Oh. Uh, like a partner thing? Partner thing. Yes. I know you, Booth. You're trying to do me a favor. Somebody's in my car. telling me it's a favor for you. Whoa! That's cool. Look at my boy there with your dad. One day we're going to look back at this moment and be like, yes. the parents, right. with the grandfather, <laughs> I assume. Solid episode. Um, yeah. Booth, you're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Um, I don't have a kid. Chloe's as close as I got to a kid, but it ain't a kid. <laughs> it ain't a human being child. But I do know, because I have nieces, a niece and two nephews, kids are a lot of work. And, uh, I don't have, obviously, like I said, I don't have experience of having one, personally, 
but I have witnessed a lot of stuff. I've been around a lot of kids. They're hard work. And you're not a bad parent for not putting them in private school. You're not a bad parent for, hey, it's just, sometimes you could be the most perfect parent and it not be enough. Sometimes you could be a terrible parent and the kid's fine. Sometimes you're a terrible parent, the kid's terrible. So they, it, it's kids, man. They're the biggest mystery. And there's not like a way to do it. You know, you don't have like a, a set rules and guides to follow to where, oh, yep, this is, this is going to be the perfect way. You can just give opportunities and make sure you, you know, discipline and write moments and teach in other moments and grow in other moments. Um... Yeah. Sometimes public school is not for everybody. Sometimes private school is not for everybody. Sometimes whatever t uh, type of school is not for everybody. Sometimes it is. Sometimes college isn't for everybody. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Um, so, you're doing a great job, Bones. Er, Booth. <laughs> uh... Dude, you're doing a great job. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We're on to the next episode of Bones. See y'all next time.